Hi Aries, this is your reading for the first week of September 2022, and that will extend from the 1st through to the 9th of September. Now the overall energy for the month talks about a disappointment that you're dealing with in the whole month of September. So something perhaps that you got involved in that didn't play out the way you want it to. So it does talk about possibly you finding your life dissatisfying at that point in time, okay? you were planning on moving forward in an endeavor, a project, and it kind of fell by the wayside and you weren't able to uh, accomplish or achieve what it is you wanted. So it's bringing about that sense of uh, discontent in your life. Now, perhaps whatever this was that you got involved in, you did it very impulsively and you didn't um, look at all the facts and the details that you needed to work out prior to starting it, okay? Now, it could be problems that are brought on by your own actions. It may be problems that are brought about by other people's actions or even climate change because I do know in some of the countries there's flooding that's taking place and it's destroying a lot of lives and a lot of homes. But it does talk about destabilized conditions brought about by outside events and indeed that might be what's taking place. It does talk about several things going on in your life at the same time as you having to deal with this type of discontent, okay? So a lot of things are taking place. So it does talk about possibly someone leaving or a new person joining your living environment or your circumstances or your situations, okay? It does talk about a new reality that's coming into place. Now, let's say you have a neighbor who's um, going by hard times and so they are moving in with you. You're allowing them to move in with you for a period of time until they get back on their feet, okay? It does talk about emotional hardship. Perhaps you've lost something that you value, okay? Whether it be property, whether it be a house, whether it be a car, there's something that maybe was damaged. And so now you're kind of like feeling uh, less than thou. You're kind of thinking like, how am I going to uh, replace that item, okay? It also talks about you using um, creative energy in order to move forward. And there is a new opportunity that's coming up. And it is a quest for greater knowledge. You're reaching out to find out how you can move forward in this scenario. So you're trying new things, you're investigating things, you're talking to people, you're forming contacts and getting information um, on a way forward. And indeed, it looks like it's going to be very positive for you. Now, in the first week, it talks about money coming in. And it talks about a fire sign individual that is possibly bringing about this change in revenue. Now, this is a person, it might even be, um, it might even be a love partner, could be a business partner, someone who is very enthusiastic, okay, and they get involved in things. They, their personal involvement to them is like, it's like their forte. They like to get involved in different situations, different circumstances, and indeed, they believe in what it is that you're trying to accomplish, and so they're putting in that effort. Now, it could even talk about um, a love relationship, okay? A very passionate love relationship. And it's almost like you and this person have the same ideals. You and this person believe in the same thing, wanna, want to go forward in the same way um, with the same type of ethics and mores and enthusiasm, okay? Now, this person is willing to help you. And it's a fire sign individual, so that would be an Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Leo. Now, they're willing to help you in some way. They want to bring the right people, the right ideas together. So maybe it's someone who's inducing, introducing you to a new way of doing things or a new group, and, um, maybe even getting you involved in some type of social activism where you're getting involved with the community around you and so you're forming uh, a stronger connection with those people. But it does talk about success in a creative endeavor. It talks about a female in your life possibly yourself, if you're a female or have those nurturing qualities, perhaps you are getting into this mode of self-determination. You know, perhaps there was a period of time in your life where you felt like you were being led around by the nose. And now it's like you're the one that's doing the leading and indeed it's working good for you. But it is going to come about with that fire sign energy, whether you be, um, this could be someone in your life, this could be uh, I mean, you are a fire. I mean, you are a, a fire sign. So indeed, I mean, this could be you. This could be you. It could be that you are forming that connection with other people, and you are bringing what is needed to the table. Okay, and encouraging others to become involved with you. 
but it also talks about you looking at your ideas and looking at your attitudes and even looking at your social uh, circumstances or your way of living or your place of living. Perhaps you're finding that you have been isolated. Perhaps you've been kind of like uh, sequestering yourself from other people and not opening up that energy channel that you need in order to form connections with these people. And, you know, it does talk about the connections are going to bring about positive things in your life and they're going to bring about monetary changes because you have the Ace of Pentacles. And basically, you're holding the Ace of Pentacles. So you're holding what's needed to move forward in a very powerful financial way, monetary way. Okay. So it does talk about an investment. It talks about a new project. Perhaps someone is getting involved in a project that you have started. Okay. And it does talk about unexpected money coming in. You're moving toward prosperity. And it's, it's going to bring about that, um, that solid, secure financial base that you've been buying for. Indeed, don't give up now because you know what? I can hear that cash register just a ring. So let's see what takes place in that second week. Namaste.